David Grush, a former U.S. Air Force officer and intelligence official, along with several government personnel, believes we are not alone in the universe. In fact, according to their claims, the U.S. government has been hiding groundbreaking truths about extraterrestrial life for decades. Could aliens have been visiting Earth and even observing us for years? Today, we'll explore this question by examining mysterious UFO sightings, official government documents, and claims of evidence suggesting alien existence. Let's dive in. In July 2023, during a high-profile event in Washington, retired Air Force intelligence officer and former Pentagon official David Grush made explosive claims that the U.S. possesses alien spacecraft and biological samples. He presented these allegations under oath before Congress, risking legal repercussions for false statements. During the hearing, Grush also revealed shocking details, asserting that the U.S. has been in possession of UFOs since the 1930s. He claimed the government has been running secret programs to recover crashed UFOs and reverse engineer their technology. Furthermore, he stated that the Pentagon holds non-human biological entities, though he didn't elaborate on their nature. Grush also disclosed that he personally knows individuals who suffered harm while trying to uncover alien technology. However, he emphasized that specific details could only be shared in a secure environment due to security protocols. While tangible evidence supporting his claims remains limited, other U.S. military personnel have also reported UFO encounters. Two of them, former Navy pilots David Fravor and Ryan Graves, joined Grush at the congressional hearing. Fravor recounted an extraordinary encounter in 2004 while serving as a squadron leader on the USS Nimitz aircraft carrier off the coast of Southern California. During this event, the radar systems on the USS Princeton detected anomalous aerial objects rapidly descending from high altitudes. On November 14, 2004, Fravor and his colleague Alex Dietrich were directed to intercept a mysterious object. While they initially saw nothing in the sky, they observed unusual turbulence on the ocean surface. Hovering just above the water, they spotted a tic-tac-shaped object. Its agility, erratic movements, and sudden departure far exceeded the capabilities of any known technology at the time. Fravor described this encounter as something beyond the limits of contemporary materials science and engineering. Between the summer of 2014 and March 2015, strange sightings were reported over the east coast of the U.S. These objects were described as spinning tops, with no engines or exhaust trails. Navy pilots began noticing them after radar system upgrades. Ryan Graves stated that these objects were consistently present. Some pilots even reported near misses during training missions. For instance, one pilot described a close encounter where an object nearly collided with the cockpit. In response to these claims, the Pentagon issued a statement denying any credible information that the U.S. has ever possessed extraterrestrial materials. NASA also emphasized that there is no convincing evidence of extraterrestrial life and no proof that these objects are of alien origin. In 1996, an alleged UFO crash in Virginia, Brazil, sparked public frenzy. Witnesses claimed to have seen an extraterrestrial being, and military personnel cordoned off several areas. However, the Brazilian military dismissed these claims as misunderstandings involving a homeless man. Yet, many locals still believe the government concealed the truth. Humanity has long been fascinated by the idea of extraterrestrial life. Do aliens resemble us, or are they entirely different? Are they technologically advanced, or could they be more primitive? Share your thoughts on the existence and possible technology of aliens in the comments below.